Hi, my name is Ashley, and today we're going to be discussing the sanitation of a nail tech environment. Some of the information given to you today is going to be provided by the INTA, the International Nail Tech Association, and also the PBA, the Nail Ca Manufacturers Council. Two of the items that I would like to discuss are single-use items and multi-use items. Single-use items can include but are not limited to toe separators, wooden sticks, arbor bands and sleeves for electric files, and also abrasive files and buffers. Single-use items are meant to be only used on one client and then discarded. Not discarding these items can be considered unsanitary and unprofessional. Multi-use items are meant to be used on more than one client. After each use on a client, they are meant to be disinfected. Disinfecting these items can include cleaning them so that they don't show any visible debris and then putting in a disinfectant solution. These items can include, but are not limited to, pushers, nippers, um, certain abrasive files and buffers, and also manicure, pedicure bowls and tubs, and cloth towels. Certain ways to clean these items in a nail tech environment are different ways. First off, with your abrasive files, and buffers, and pads, you're going to want to scrub brush these items. With your metal pushers and nippers, you're going to want to use ultrasonic cleaner. Metal electric file bits, you're going to want to put in an acetone soap. Cloth towels and linens, of course, you're going to want to machine wash with an antibacterial detergent of some kind. Electric equipment, tabletops, and chairs, you're going to want to wipe down with a towelette or a wipe of some sort with a disinfectant solution. Disinfectant solutions can combine several different things. Um, you can use an EPA hospital disinfectant with bactericide, fungicide, and viricide claims on the label, or you can use a 1 to 9 solution, which is 10% bleach solution and 90% water solution. You can also use isopropyl alcohol, which is 70% to 90% solution, or ethyl alcohol, which is 70% to 90% solution as well. After cleaning all metal items to be disinfected by immersion in a disinfection solution, this must be completely covered, including handle, for at least 10 minutes. And that is suggested by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, which is the EPA. Now just remember that when going into a salon, you want to make sure that you follow these rules. These suggestions and rules or regulations can help you and protect you as a client. Remember, your nail technician is servicing you and providing you a service. You are paying for this service. So when it comes to your health, even if it's the health of your nails, you want to make sure that you are safe and are prepared for what's to come. So that is the end of our discussion. Please feel free to blog me about it and let me know how you feel or even give me your ideas or your experiences from your nail technicians. Or if you are a nail technician, tell me how you feel about this. Thank you.